Welcome to this exciting exploration of the mathematics behind I. In this video, we'll dive into how linear algebra and calculus power the machine learning models we rely on every day. Whether you're a curious learner or an aspiring data scientist, this journey will shed light on the math that makes AI work. To understand machine learning, we must start with linear algebra. At its core, linear algebra is the study of vectors, matrices, and operations on them. Think of it as the language AI uses to process and manipulate data. For example, when Netflix recommends a movie, it uses vectors to represent your preferences and matrices to compare them with other users' data. A vector is simply a list of numbers, like 3, 5, 1, 4, which could represent your ratings for four movies. Matrices take this a step further. A matrix is a grid of numbers, like a table. If Netflix tracks 10 users' ratings for 50 movies, it creates a 10 by 50 matrix. This matrix holds valuable patterns that machine learning algorithms use to predict what you'll like next. Operations like matrix multiplication allow AI models to combine datasets. For example, multiplying a user preference vector with a movie feature matrix reveals personalized recommendations. Linear algebra is also critical in image recognition. Consider an image as a grid of pixels, where each pixel has a color value. AI processes this grid as a matrix, and mathematical transformations like rotations or scaling are performed using matrix operations. For instance, convolutional neural networks CNNs, widely used in image recognition, apply filters, small matrices that highlight features like edges or textures. Moving on to calculus, it is the math of change. Calculus allows us to optimize machine learning models by adjusting parameters to minimize errors. This process involves two key concepts, derivatives and gradients. Derivatives measure how one quantity changes concerning another. For example, when training an eye model, we use derivatives to see how changing weights affects error rates. Let's take a real-world example. Imagine building an eye to predict house prices. If the model is too far off, Calculus helps adjust parameters like the weight assigned to square footage or location. These adjustments minimize the error, making the predictions more accurate. The tool behind this adjustment is called gradient descent. Gradient descent is like climbing down a hill to reach the lowest point, the spot where the model makes the fewest mistakes. In practical terms, this involves calculating the slope of the error function. A negative slope tells us to reduce weights, while a positive slope tells us to increase them. Repeating this process iteratively refines the model. One famous application of gradient descent is in neural networks, where weights for thousands of connections are fine-tuned to improve accuracy. To visualize this, think of a complex 3D graph with hills and valleys. The valleys represent minimum error points. Gradient descent navigates this terrain, step by step, to find the lowest valley. Linear algebra and calculus combine seamlessly in neural networks. Each layer in a neural network is essentially a series of matrix operations. These operations are followed by activation functions, which add non-linearity to make the network capable of learning complex patterns. For example, the sigmoid function an S-shaped curve maps inputs to outputs between O and 1. Calculus is used to calculate the derivative of these functions, which guides weight updates during training. Another powerful example is natural language processing (NLP). When AI translates languages or understands speech, it relies on word embeddings, numerical representations of words. These embeddings are vectors, and their relationships are studied using linear algebra. The training of NLP models like GPT involves calculus to optimize millions of parameters, ensuring coherent and context-aware outputs. Let's quantify the impact of these mathematical tools. Google's BERT, an advanced NLP model, 
has 110 million parameters. Calculus ensures these parameters are optimized efficiently, while linear algebra helps process large datasets at scale. Without these mathematical foundations, many AI breakthroughs wouldn't be possible. Linear algebra ensures that data is structured and accessible, while calculus ensures models learn and improve. We hope this journey into the mathematics behind AI has been both enlightening and engaging. Whether you're solving equations or building models, remember that these tools are the foundation of the technologies shaping our world. Thank you for watching.